guys, where do we start today? Where do we start? Should we start with? Actually, I have to. I, I wanna thing. I wanna catch up with y'all, man. If I'm, so I don't know if we should start with CPI because there's something I wanna talk about in terms of CPI. Also, uh, there's some story that I want us to cover first. Yeah, the story on this guy called. I'm sure some of you guys know him. The guy called Sandy Lechezi. You understand? It's a crazy story, but I haven't like I haven't read up on like everything that's going on. So I wanted to do it uh, on here with you guys, yeah. Well, and I'm sure some of y'all know what's going on. So I also wanted to hear what you guys think about that scenario of the guy uh, Sandy Leches. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay, so investing.com, why are we here? This is basically, like, I wonder every week before I start with any trading, this is where I come to check the fundamental stuff. Like, if there's going to be powerful fundamentals during the week, or kanja, that's where, that's where I check, I, I think, that's where I come to actually check on everything. And I actually guys tell you a little, a funny story of the time I started trading this, this, basically, not even when I t started trading indices, I was just like, when I started trading, what I used to do is, okay, let's check if it's going to show, if it still has that, that feature, where it will tell you what how to trade this thing. It will tell you if you should buy or sell. Oh, well, I don't know if it still has that feature, but that's like one way I learn how to trade. But it's not going to make you money. Don't, don't make no mistake. It's not going to make you money. All right. Uh, major indices. We don't want indices. I want to check. I want to check markets, forex, currencies. Yeah, let's check Euro USD. This thing used to have a technical indicator, ne? where it will tell you if you should buy or sell. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So when I started this thing, I used to come here. Ne? I used to. This is before I was making money, so you're not gonna judge me in the building. So. I used to come here to the technical summer, and if in five minutes, if it says, you see, in five minutes, it's saying neutral, and then technical, it's saying buy and neutral. I would wait until, like, it's only showing buy, 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 like, and then I would enter in the short term, in the five minutes, and in the M15, you understand? This is what I was taught by my man to me, man. Yeah, well, like, just follow what this thing says and stuff like that. But, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, by the way, guys, welcome to Chill Stream number three. This is our third stream in the channel, in the building. So everybody, welcome to Chill Stream. I go by the name of Max. You understand? So if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon, yo. So before we proceed with today's programming, uh, I'm gonna answer a couple of questions before you guys can ask me anything. I'll just, you know, say, I'll answer to my best capabilities Hello? what's up what's what's going on from us 30 must send location someone is saying us 30 must send location ah uh, ash let's check let's check dow jones maybe there's a location here maybe there's a location Firm, is the is the network quality fine? Is the audio fine in the video? Is everything fine? And I need to know. I understand. Guys, is the is the video fine? Is everything fine? Do you use other blocks in your strategy? Yeah, you're not learning. We can hear you. G. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I use other blocks in my strategy? Uh, what is other blocks? I don't. I don't use other blocks. Does the app of CNBC still when trading NAS and US state? Yeah, you see, that's a good. That's a good ass question right there, my G. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, sharp. I think. Yeah, actually, the CNBC, the CNBC stuff is still important, ne? and I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with this strategy for trading, for trading the NY session, right? So, 
how this thing goes is okay, what we're talking about here is not it's not it's really not that important anymore you understand let's go to cnbc i want to show you guys how i trade the the thing but i'm not signed in i wanna that's the problem now uh now i'm gonna share my password Ash, guys okay fam i wanna i wanna share with you guys how to use cnbc when you're trading half past three session eh? so for a minute you guys are only gonna see me while i log into this thing just hold on just hold on just 10 seconds from am i signed in yeah i'm signed in let's check let's see what's up okay yeah so this is what i want to share with you guys ne? i use this uh there's a mobile app for this thing and then there's the website it just depends on whichever one is the best for you so you know ny session ne? you see when it comes to trading indices the ones with the next 100 uh, the next 100 the us 30 and all those those good stuff man. if you want to trade them they're most volatile when it's actually half past three in sa time so you're gonna have to convert it to your time zone wherever you are so if you want to trade those things you have to understand that those things are reach peak volatility during the ny session and that side is like from half past nine to like 11 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning so this side is like from half past three to like half past three to like seven ish around around those times that's when you can actually see the movement you, know, you understand so one thing you need to understand is what moves what actually moves the mass 100 you understand although even the us 30 they have the same kind of indicators that you would have to look at so that's where now it comes to cnbc because now you can create a watch list to monitor all those things that are responsible for all the volatility you would find in nas 100 us 30 and all the good stuff you understand all of those things are found here i mean you, you okay if you can analyze this website analyze the website <laughs> you'll find uh there's markets they talk about markets currencies cryptos talk about everything right but mostly it's, it's based on us on the us market and then and then there's business stuff finances and stuff these are basically news that you'll find right if i can just scroll these are basically news everything that affects the thing the fundamental side of the market you can find everything to do with that from here basically as you can see 17 minutes ago stocks making biggest move moves midday what what goldman options strategies so it's a very powerful tool if you can have this thing and try to implement it in your trading if you're trading stuff like nas 100 like i'm saying so far are we together are we rocking so far are you following me should i continue or skip on what's up uh there's the app of seeing okay i read that one is everything uh so what are other other blocks or what is where the banks place their orders on the last bullish or bearish candlestick then the market will go down and come back on the last candlestick push down hope you understand are you talking about something like uh demand and supply is, isn't it the same kind of thing supply and demand where the market is gonna go make levels and then go and trigger trigger entries on those levels to stop out retail traders is that what you're talking about i'm not sure anyways let's continue so in this in this uh app or website uh ash my g this week i won't lie on telegram this week we've just been focusing on our new members uh actually we've been focusing on our existing members and our new members for last week we're still trying to get uh you know so we're trying to we're still trying to focus on those people first and then like for anyone who's gonna get enrolled we're gonna attend that but right now we are still focused on our members you understand so it's a bit hectic from hope you understand but yeah we're gonna get back to you soon 
So you're gonna make a watch list. You're gonna go to my watch list on the app or on the thing. I think I have a. I dropped a video, right? I dropped a video on how to do this. Uh, on your mobile, on your mobile phone. Vusi Maxi NPC. It's kind of an old video, but these things are still working. Uh, CNBC strategy. You see, I dropped it a, a, a year ago. I dropped this yeah, a year up, ago. Uh, yeah, our hair was still short and stuff. Uh, we have to understand. So, I go through the whole strategy on this video. You understand? So, y'all will have to, if you want to like learn how to do it on the mobile version of the thing, you're going to have to check it out. Check this video out, man. That's why I go into detail. So, as I was saying, you're going to make a watch list on this thing, on this app. And as you can see, when when this this thing is open, basically half past three, these things will start to become active. They'll start moving, fluctuating up and down, up and down. And that's how now you're gonna it's gonna show you what's going on with the movers. So the the basically the general consensus of what to follow. When you well, as soon as this thing open at half past three, even now they're still open, you have to check which ones are bullish and which ones are bearish. You understand? So you need to only add this i think there are seven instruments yeah apple tesla meta meta which is uh facebook since they changed the name there's netflix amazon microsoft and google these are like the main nasdaq movers you understand so you need to add them on this thing so what you would look at is if the majority of them are i think if the majority of them are bullish or bearish you understand I wanna open a chart so bad. I wanna open a chart so we can see how this thing is moving right now. Failing to withdraw money from vault market. Hey, that one is hectic. That one is hectic. Ah, but this thing has been this thing is moving that's one hundred, ne? Mar. The main problem we have with it on the H4 is that it's bare. It's not bearish, Mara. It's moving in a range. You understand? It's moving in a range, this thing. There's a lot of uh, structure on the daily time frame. But as far as... Because you see, the structure on the daily. I'm hoping we find it, we get a rejection here on this level. And then the price maybe can drop a little bit. Because at the moment, it's struggling to push up. But as soon as we go to the lower time frames, when we go to the lower time frames, ah, we can see good thing ah, here. It's a range, ranging market. So I just want us to go through it real quick to see what's going on. Ah, but you can see, Mar. <laughs> You can see what's going on. Obviously, uh, me, I entered a couple trades when? Yesterday, which only closed out today. But uh, there's no there's no structure here, even in the small time frame. There is no structure. The only way you could trade this thing is if maybe you put, you put down levels. But even then, nah, uh, there's no, there's no structure here, dog. I don't want to tell any everyone, and this is why I'm, 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 I'm conflicted right now because I know someone with, someone with like uh, proper market, market experience, someone who's been trading for a while, can find a way to trade this thing, this movement. But someone who's still learning now. Ah, it can be a master to trade this thing. But I'll just give you guys one clue. If you add your session breaks and go to lower time frames, you can always find, you can always analyze any type of market, no matter how chaotic it looks from the bigger time frames. But if you can add your session breaks and look at it day by day, day by day, you understand? So this is what I'm doing here. I went to the 30 minutes time frame and then I'm analyzing movement every from uh thing from every day you understand when i do it this way i find it uh, it's it's better trading it's it's easier to trade than if i just analyze the whole picture 
and don't focus on what's going on movement day by day you understand i think i i don't want to go too deep into this thing of it i don't want to go too deep it's fine i don't want to go too deep in the building but just know that we've been trading this thing you understand but as you can see you see how this market is moving which is why i came here you see well, how this market is moving it's moving up and down between between these two points here right now these two levels so if i can add a level here like this it will give you a signal you understand you you would have gotten a buy signal there so but it still doesn't mean that it's gonna go up and push and break out and stuff it just means it's been moving like this so basically today we opened the market here went down and then now we're slightly above uh where the market opened and when we look at the watch list three of these things are bearish and then four of these things are bullish so it does it shows us that there's, even if you can find maybe selling pressure or buying momentum it's not going to be that much because these things are not all bearish or all or all thing you see only if there's like one of them which is bullish or one of them which is bearish and then the rest are following one direction then that's where you'd find most of the momentum going one way but once it's, the market is moving like this ah you're not really gonna find much going on in the markets so that's how this thing helps you it helps you determine how much momentum you'll find in the market in a specific direction your job is to only find the entries uh you know entries and then where, where to actually get out of the market but as far as like where the market is gonna go these things will show you where the market is gonna go but now the way they're moving ah, it's not really showing anything so because some of them are bullish some of them are bearish which is the problem you understand that's the main problem that we have right now away so if you guys want to ask anything you can ask right now i had to hop on the live now because yo where i'm staying now right now the load shading schedule is bad like it sucks the load shading thing is bad i think i only have like 25 minutes left to stay on this live you understand so i'm on limited time right now i also want to talk about something let's go to the juicy stuff eh? you understand since you guys don't want to say nothing I want us to, I wanted to talk to you guys about alpha market. It's hectic. It's hectic. Alpha market's the last time I checked, yeah, cuz I remember I opened a thing. I opened an account with them, but before I actually funded, I came to the website to check on the comments. Yeah, I want the comments. What are the people saying? Cuz people will always say what's going on. So when I came down here, what i found was people complaining about withdrawal so i want to ask myself like mm, how are the ah you see now the withdrawals is what i'm complaining about people are complaining about i haven't think i haven't i wanted to try them out but it's, if they're not gonna pay the money then it's gonna be a little bit hectic yeah well, until you see now this one is saying what hi alpha markets team until when will the international withdrawals be down it has been a week and we need our money this is what i'm talking about dog. this is my problem so is there anyone in the chat who's using who's using alpha markets please let us know what's up man let us know what's up uh this one is saying the most pathetic and useless broker on the continent do not be enticed to opening an account with a new broker Trust me, it's not worth it. They do not respond. The service is pathetic. You already said pathetic. The app is useless and the server goes over on trade. I lost money and asked them to refund me and nothing. Uh, actually, I don't know, guys. Do, do brokers actually do that thing of refunding you? Because I've never, I've never experienced that before. Like a broker, ref a broker refund, that would be nice. That would slap a an account and ask for a refund. They ignore you and go post the best broker on Instagram. You see, now that's the thing. Are the hidden comments? Ah, you see, now I'm asking by foreign things. They're not answering. Okay, this one is not a broker related. Ask me, I want to know about the broker. What go on with the broker? 
I'm gonna go through the comments. My account is blocked for investigations for two weeks now, no response yet. But my account is still pending verification since last week. Guys, this this is my problem. This is my problem. I can't I can't open a thing a, uh, a thing with a broker way. The comment section is this heated. I can't do that. Why we like the work you put in your marketing, but do improve on your support. We as traders are your partners. But this one is true though. Uh, okay, we are hungry for a seminar in Namibia. Hey, my she will operate something soon. Because I need a little patience for sure. You feel me? But the thing is now, ah, guys, I don't know about this. I don't know about this broker dog. I feel like, yeah, I wonder if SA brokers will just relax ne? and then come together with the resources and operate one broker. I feel like that would be like a massive, 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 massive broker. But now, I don't understand what's what's the competition about between all the SA brokers if people are complaining about the service. You understand? No reply. People are complaining about no reply. I was, I was going to open this thing, but my problem was I went to the comment section first. I always like, I always tell you guys, like, you need to do your own research. You understand? You need to do some research either before you start learning how to trade you must teach yourself something at least from youtube or something and then when you come to the broker it's just like it's just like opening a bank account you need to get familiar with the bank in question or broker in question so to speak so you know you know what i'm saying you know what to expect so when you come here and it's already a mess it's already a mess hey my boy dj nanas is even on here that's not 100%. Stop sharing fake info. What do they say now? So, oh, okay. I think they had an Alpha 100 type, uh, type of account, and then they took it back and they brought it back. I don't know what they changed, but, yeah, people are not too happy even when they brought it back. People are saying, I can't have access to my trading account. What's really going on? This broker must fall. Jason came to loot. <laughs> hey, you guys are really... Is it really Jason's broker though? I don't know. Is it? Why is the spread bigger on the raw spread account than the classic account? Me, dog, I don't have a problem with anyone owning a broker or whatever. Me, I just want the good service. That's it. And I can see these people are moneyed. If they're saying win big with Alpha Markets, life changing, I think, are they giving, giving away a car or what? Are they giving away a car? Maybe we can join if they're giving away a car. What's going on? Competition. Petrol card. Ah, funded account. Don't want a funded account. We want the money. So, oh uh, yeah, I, I'm only bringing this up because I wanted to know what you guys think. Is there anyone who's using the thing? Who's using the broker? On, on the chat, bro. Every time I'm up, I'm uploading my bank statement, they reject it. What up? Explain on bank statement specifically of FNB. But they're not supposed to reject it. What's up? What's up with that? Can someone please tell me why do SA traders use local brokers? There are so many well-established tested brokers that have been around. International brokers have never given me stress. While this is true, um, it's always good you know, to have a broker where you can go to if like things are not going well in your account or something like that. You need a broker that you can go to, physical their location. If you're going to fund with like big, big, big money. But obviously, if you're finding with like your 1.5s and 2Ks, uh, you're not going to really worry much, you understand? But you see now, when, when, you, when you're funding with stuff like 50K, it's not easy to just put it in a broker where you don't know if they disappear tomorrow, it's going to be a master to actually get a hold of them or something. That's the thing. But if we were talking small accounts, ah, then we would, those ones you can fund anyway, even XM and stuff. But big money we need to know all your fsca number we need to know the office location where we can come physically you understand it's just a, a safety precaution it's not it's not it's not that we're being deliberately ignorant it's just that we find too big some of us yeah well they are great brokers little little hunger tree that allow funding with crypto true mm. But I've came to find out that you see the brokers with the biggest followings, I they tend to 
I don't know. They tend to not deliver on the service as much. People tend to complain a lot, Doc. You understand? My broker set up right now is Global GT. I told you guys about Global GT. But big money was in JP Market. Where is the money now? Big money right now, dog. <laughs> I don't know where big money is at, but me, the one I'm using right now, it's Global GT. You understand? They're not like the busiest on in terms of thing. They're not the biggest in terms of social media, but trust me, doc. Uh, if you go to, let's check the comment section. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're tripping and I don't know. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no, there's no shenanigans with these ones. You understand? There's no shenanigans with these ones. I also have a problem with vault markets. I have a problem with vault markets because they took away the bonus. Why? Why did they take away the bonus? I don't know where big money is at, for real, dog. Vault markets, why did they take away the bonus? They had a bonus for... For how long? They had a bon... They, they lost a new bonus. Let me check if it's there. Let me check what if it's there. Uh, I think they even deleted the posts. I, this is people... They launched a, a bonus for like two days or one day and then it was removed after that. I mean, in America, we use well-known unregulated brokers because we are limited with 1 is to 50 leg. You are, are you mad? 1 is to 50 leverage. Oh, you mean 1 is to 500. Can you clarify on that one real quick? 1 is to 50 leverage. Oh, you mean 1 is to 500 leverage. I don't know. Uh, what are people saying? What are the comments say, comment section saying about vault market? Let's check. Uh, guys, so what's the question? Which currency pair in Forex is nicknamed the Dragon? Ah, uh, guys, me now will never take a trading advice from a broker. I would never because it's, it's not like they will tell you how to make money from they're also in business. These people, oh, you're saying one is to 500. Okay, yeah, we also use most of our brokers here in, in, in SA. They have a cap which is what is to five hundred on our thing on our leverage, but they also give us like ridiculous bonuses that allow us to open like crazy, crazy, crazy lot sizing. So, I don't know if you guys also have that or what. Big money is in RCG, but RCG is the least problematic broker. I don't see people complaining about RCG. I don't see people complaining when it comes to R RCG. Uh, I know a couple traders who are using RCG. Let's see the comment section. The comment section always talks, guys. The comment section always talks. Mm. But there's nothing bad in their page. I never see anything bad. What is wrong with vault markets? Dog, my problem with vault markets is that vault market is good. Trust, they are good. I just have a problem with oh, the when they make promises. You understand? They bring, they say they promised, they promise uh, this thing of drawdown bonus for like a year. Then suddenly they bring it and then it's gone in like one twenty four hours. And then now they beg, saying what 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 what. I don't even care to check what what they're saying about it, but. I was just like, dog, how? Why would you bring it if you're gonna take it away? That's my whole thing. Or maybe there was just technical stuff going on. I don't know. I don't have a broker, but yeah, I was just disappointed about the broker. But otherwise, I I think vault market is also my go-to. But I like to keep quiet about trading with vault markets because you guys sometimes will attack someone, as if me I'm saying you must use vault markets, and it's never. 
about it. It's just me or about my own experience. Can where where are the forex scammers? The forex scammers are around. Fit. We're just working right now, doc. We are working, fam. The time will play. Time to play will come. You understand? But right now, everyone is still working and stuff. I read just markets is good broke. I don't know about just markets, doc. You understand? But I also wanted to to know about this this thing I saw, man. Let me see. There's this thing I saw about this one. Or who is this one? Uh, Sandy Lechezi. He this one. This one I'm interested about. This one. Anyways, who's familiar with this brew? Cause me, I remember. I remember. There was a time this nigga was like famous on on our social media platforms. Niggas was on some youngest millionaire. What 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 what? So I just kind of retweeted this on Twitter so I can. So we can read it uh, during this live. Can you please pray for hey signals, please? We have been blowing accounts. Dog, join my public telegram. Ne, join my public telegram. Uh, I'm gonna launch signals soon. It's just that the left time, the left time things uh, we just closed them last week, but we're about to launch something soon, soon, soon. You understand? Uh, RCG. Ever since I joined them, I haven't had any problems. The original knockman's, <laughs> the father of all scammers. Hey, dog, I wanna I wanna see, dog. I wanna I wanna go through this nigga. What a well known forex trader on the run from police. Oh, yeah, okay, let me read this properly. Well known forex trader on the run from police. You see why grammar is important? You need to add a full stop there. Because now we're just gonna read it, read the whole thing like it's one statement. Well known forex trader on the run from police. Okay. He said to have left his his wife and kids in KZN and living overseas after trading scams. Eh, yeah, ne? SA. SA. SA is a mess. SA is a mess right now. We have Tower Besta and then we have this, this brewer. Well known trader on the run from police. This nigga. Wasn't this nigga the first millionaire in, 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 in SA? Not the first millionaire in SA. Wasn't this nigga the youngest millionaire in SA? Dog, wasn't he? What is, wasn't he the thing? They say... Oh, someone is playing that loud music, that side, guys. I'll be back now, now, fam. Yo, <laughs> someone said this nigga look like a. Someone said this nigga look like a ten year old, bro. This nigga look like y'all are getting scammed by a nigga still in primary. What's going on? So he has been missing for months without a trace. Forex trader and alleged scammer Sandy Leches has been untraceable since word got out that the South African police had a warrant of arrest for defrauding several people through forex trading and bitcoin scams so y'all telling me this nigga is was a scammer this whole time because i don't like dog me i remember i had i had first heard about this nigga like a while back though like sandile the guy who was i think they said he was selling he went from selling scones in in varsity or something he was selling something cookies or something and then uh he took the money he was making from selling those things in 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 thing in tertiary and then he funded an account and then the rest is history. That's how he think he made money. That's how he became like a mil like a youngest millionaire. I think he was like 19 or something, dog. You understand? So that's what I knew about the brewer. 
that he was making money from thing. He learned how to trade while he was in varsity and stuff. And for some time, he was like the youngest uh, millionaire in SA, right? So they're saying he first moved to moved to the Middle East. So earlier this year, the father of the forex trader. Oh, earlier this year, the father of the forex trader died and was buried in his hometown of KZN. According to a friend, Sandile left everything in South Africa, including his wife and kids. Yo. The money he made on the scams, he invested it in offshore accounts and preparing for the day he decides to leave. So this bro is legendary, bro. What? The money he made on the scams, he invested in offshore accounts and preparing for the day he decides to leave. But we all thought he would at least take his wife and kids. That's the thing, dog. I thought... I thought the bro would live with his kids. Like, why? why what? Because... For you to even make an offshore account, it means like you thinking ahead. You 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 understand? Yeah, because this this guy used to have a like his school institute was very was very famous. So I don't know, his school was very famous. You understand? So I don't know if they're saying this guy has been scamming ever since, or he started scamming recently, or what? So, yo. Yeah. But the wife and kids, dog. The wife and kids, that's, that's what I don't understand. His wife and kids just ran away from, yeah? Uba, for she, yeah, his wife and kids, and just ran away from to go live in the Middle East. But the question is, until when? He can't run forever because his kids need him. Maybe he can still scam that side. You understand? Maybe he can still scam that side and... Maybe he's still communicating with his kids. I mean, with his wife, maybe this side. Through some sort of media. Yeah, well. So last year, the Weinberg Mag Mag Magistrate Court, I think it's in Cape Town, withdrew a case of fraud against self-proclaimed millionaire after he paid back 200k, which he allegedly defrauded an investor, Angela Mabena. Amarlena, you are Mabena. If you are investing 200k in this, in this boy, how but you never know, dog. This came after businessman Allen dropped charges after he received his money back from Sandile. So he kind of paid some back. He kind of paid some back. But I feel like we knew we, we knew about this boy scamming for like the past year or something. You understand? Uh, he portrayed an expensive uh, lifestyle with cars and watches on social media, calling himself the youngest self-made millionaire from forex trading. I mean, he looks young. We don't know. We don't know from he looks he looks young. We don't know how old he is. For the, for all we know, this bro can be thirty years old. What can what can you say about that? Uh Sandal became well known over six years ago as a self made youngest crypto and forex millionaire. He's the owner of G Global Forex Institute company which accused which is accused by victims of fraud. Yeah, no. Sandil is not only the one who has been accused of scaring people through forex and crypto. DJ Sinclair's ex, Brendan Naidu, Temba, uh, Javulani, Cashflow. Where are these niggas? The cash flows in them. Where are they? The only nigga I see now who I would associate with this area of cash flow is Ref Wayne, which is still active, but um, these other bros are high. No, next. So Sandil is victims. Guys, I think I have three minutes left. I can't be on here until, until, because I'm going to have load cheating now, now. So, I planned this live in such a way that I was going to chill here with you guys for a while. And then, uh, as soon as load cheating hits, I'm getting in my other fit and then I'm going out. We'll come back later. Because I'm not just going to sit here, you understand? So, if you guys want to ask, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Comment what you guys think. And you can ask me anything. I'm still here. We think we have, we still have like two minutes. I don't know, man. I never thought this brew was a scare much because his 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 social media's looked too clean. Maybe that's the red flag when someone's social media looks too clean. You understand? Because he looked clean, dog. He looked he looked clean. Even when you look at his face, this nigga looks harmless, dog. Like you understand? Like how? How? Even you, you can give him 50k this bro, because he doesn't look like he's going anywhere. He just looks like I'm fit. 
He looks like the type of nigga that's the one that's getting scammed. He doesn't look like a scammer. Oh, Telegram link. Telegram link. Mm, how am I going to do over this one? Telegram link. Guys, I'm going to repost this whole thing. Né? I'm going to repost this whole thing. And then when I re... Yeah, to load it in a minute, dog. Guys, check. I'm going to end this thing now. And then I'm going to repost it. When I repost it, I'll attach all the links in there. All right? So it's been a blessed chilling with y'all, fam. Appreciate you for coming through. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right? I'm going to repost it with all the links. Chill out. Peace out.